by 11 components to the National Institutes of Health Stroke Scale. which is deep coma. The score is used to compare improvement or deterioration over time. It is a communication tool between the emergency physician and the stroke neurologist and guides the decision to administer thrombolytic therapy. Thrombolytic therapy can be contemplated if the score is higher than or at four and less than 21. Scores outside this range represent conditions that are either too mild or too severe for thrombolysis. The contraindications to thrombolytic therapy are similar to those for thrombolytic therapy in acute myocardial infarction. However, the NINDS website or standard textbooks should be referred to when trying to evaluate a patient for thrombolysis and to look at the list of contraindications to thrombolytic therapy. The NIH stroke scale is an ordered exam with each category scored upon completion. Scores should reflect what the patient does, not what the clinician thinks the patient can do, except where indicated the patient should not be coached. Choose a response even if a full evaluation is prevented by obstacles such as an endotracheal tube, language barrier, trauma, or bandages. A 3 is scored if the patient makes no movement or demonstrates reflexive posturing in response to noxious stimulation. The age and current month must be correct. Also, score two if the patient cannot comprehend the question. Score one only if the patient cannot speak for any reason other than aphasia. Ask the patient to open and close the eyes and grip and release a non-paretic hand. Substitute another one-step command if the hands cannot be used. Give credit if an attempt is made but not completed due to weakness. If there's no response to the command, the clinician may pantomime the task. Test only horizontal eye movements. Caloric testing is not done. For conjugate deviation that cannot be overcome or isolated paresis of cranial nerves 3, 4, or 6, score a 1. Total gaze paresis and forced deviation not overcome by Dahl's eye maneuver scores a 2. Test the quadrants of the visual fields by finger counting, finger movement, or visual threat. If one eye is blind, score visual fields in the remaining eye. Score 1 for quadrantinopia or extinction. Score 2 for hemianopia. Score 3 for total blindness. Ask or encourage the patient to show their teeth or raise eyebrows and close eyes. Score symmetry of the grimace. You can use noxious stimuli in the poorly responsive or the non-comprehending patient. Motor arm rates movement in the patient's extended arm. The patient can be either supine or sitting. Test the non-paretic arm first. The patient can be encouraged, but not with noxious stimulation. Drift occurs if the arm starts falling before 10 seconds. Motor leg rates movement in the patient's extended leg. This is done only in the supine position. Test the non-paretic leg first. The patient can be encouraged, but not with noxious stimulation. Drift occurs if the leg starts falling before 5 seconds. Looking for evidence of unilateral cerebellar lesions, limb ataxia is done with eyes open. The finger-to-nose-to-finger -to -finger and heel-to-shin tests are performed on both sides, and ataxia is scored only if present out of proportion to weakness. The sensory exam tests for hemisensory deficit. Response to pinprick or tactile sensation rubbing on arms, legs, trunk, and face is scored. Hands are excluded from testing. Only sensory loss attributed to stroke is scored as abnormal. Best language is a comprehension-rich test based on the patient's description of an action-oriented picture, the naming of seven items in a picture, and the reading of five sentences. Comprehension scores are based on the correctness of these responses. If the patient is thought to be normal, a sample of speech is obtained by asking the patient to read or repeat a series of words from a printed list. If the patient has severe aphasia, articulation of spontaneous speech can be rated. Scoring of extinction and inattention is based on prior scores, especially visual and sensory tests. For no abnormality, score a zero. Score one for extinction to only one modality, and score two for profound hemi-inattention or extinction to more than one modality. Good afternoon, Mr. Jenkins. It's nice to see you. How are you today? I'm doing fine today. Great. We'll be asking you some questions this afternoon, so just answer them as accurately as you can. 
The patient is alert and keenly responsive. The score is zero. Can you tell me how old you are? I'm 51. And can you tell me what month it is today? Today is the 22nd of September. The patient answers both questions correctly. The score is zero. Mr. Jenkins, can you close and open your eyes for me, please? Open again. So I'd like you to take your right hand, make a fist, and then let it go, please. Okay, no problem. Thank you. The patient is able to perform both tasks correctly. The score is therefore zero. Mr. Jenkins, next I'd like you to take a look at my finger and try and follow it with your eyes. Try not to move your head. Thank you. The horizontal eye movements are normal and full. The score is therefore zero. Now, Mr. Jenkins, I'd like you to look straight at my nose and I'd like you to tell me as soon as you see my fingers wiggle. Yes. 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 Which side's wiggling now? Right. Which side's wiggling now? They both are. Your left one. Which side's wiggling now? They both are. And again, which side's wiggling now? They both are. One more time. Which side's wiggling now? They both are. Thank you. Visual fields as well as double simultaneous stimulation is performed at this point. The patient extinguishes to double simultaneous stimulation and therefore receives a 1. With normal vision, a man is seen standing in the middle of a highway. In the presence of right hemianopia, there is loss of vision in one half of the visual field. Again, the normal view of the man in the middle of a highway. In the presence of quadrantinopia, there is loss of vision in one quarter of the visual field. Next, I'd like you to show us your teeth. Big smile. Great. Terrific. And relax. Could you open your eyes really wide, close them really tightly shut? and raise your eyebrows as high as you can go. Now open your eyes, raise your eyebrows. Thank you. Raise your eyebrows one more time. Raise them up and relax. And squeeze your eyes tightly shut. Tight, tight, and relax. There is minor paralysis of the left face with flattening of the nasolabial fold and mild asymmetry on smiling. The patient therefore scores a one. Next, I'm going to lift your arm up. I'd like you to keep it there for 10 seconds. I'll help you by counting. Try and keep your fingers straight and your hand like that. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thank you. And relax. The patient is able to hold the non-paretic arm, which is tested first, against gravity. He therefore scores a zero. I'm going to lift it up, and we're going to try and keep it up here, and we're going to count to ten. Thank you. The left arm has no effort against gravity. The limb falls immediately. The patient, therefore, scores a 3. Next, we're going to lift up your right leg, and I'd like you to hold it up about here, and I'm going to ask you to keep it there while I count to 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Thank you. Relax. The right leg is tested first and is always tested supine. There is normal movement of the right leg with no drift. The patient, therefore, scores a zero.
Next, we're going to try to do the same thing with your left leg. Again, I'm going to lift it up, and we're going to try and keep it there while I count to five. One, two, three, four, five. You can relax. The patient's left leg drifts, but does not hit the bed at the end of the five second period. He therefore scores a one. Next, I'd like you to make a pointer with this finger, and I'd like you to touch your nose and then touch my finger. I'd like you to go back and forth as fast and as accurately as you can. Go ahead. Thank you. Okay, and relax. Okay. Now we're going to try the same with your left hand. Can you try and make a pointer with your finger? Thank you. That's great. Next, I'd like you to take this leg and take the heel.